Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Fullerton and today I'd like to talk to you about capacitors. Our goals are going to be to solve basic problems involving parallel plate capacitors and also to find the capacitance of a parallel, parallel plate capacitor. So capacitors are parallel conducting plates that are separated by an insulator and when you set up this configuration you can store electrical charge. The amount of charge that can be stored per unit potential difference is known as the capacitor's capacitance. The more capacitance you have, the more electrical charge you can store for the same amount of potential difference. The units of capacitance are farads. When you think about it, a farad is just going to be a coulomb per volt. And a farad is a pretty large amount of capacitance. Usually we're talking about things like microfarads, nanofarads, even picofarads. So a farad is a very big unit of capacitance. Typically we're using things considerably smaller. The formula for capacitance, C in farads, is charge Q in coulombs divided by potential difference between the plates, V. Let's see if we can apply this. A capacitor stores three microcoulombs of charge, so Q is three microcoulombs, or three times ten to the minus six coulombs, with a potential difference of 1.5 volts. Find the capacitance. Well, capacitance is charge over voltage, or three times ten to the minus six coulombs over 1.5 volts, gives us two times ten to the minus six farads, or two microfarads. Really straightforward. Another example, how much charge sits on the top plate of a 200 nanofarad capacitor when charged to a potential difference of 6 volts? Well, our charge here, what well, we're looking for charge, our capacitance is 200 nanofarads, or 200 times 10 to the minus 9 farads. Our potential difference is 6 volts, we're looking for Q. So we can use our formula, C equals Q over V, but rearrange this to solve for Q, which will be capacitance times voltage. That's 200 times 10 to the minus 9 farads times 6 volts, which gives us 1.2 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, or 1.2 microcoulombs. Now, determining capacitance. Capacitance is a function of the area of the plates, the separation of the plates, and the insulating material between the plates, also known as a dielectric. And we talk about or characterize that dielectric in terms of its electrical permittivity, which is given the Greek letter epsilon. So with two parallel plates of area A separated by some distance D, and the between them has a permittivity epsilon, capacitance is equal to epsilon A divided by D. The bigger the area, the more the capacitance. The closer the plates, the more, capa the more the capacitance. And the higher the permittivity, the more the capacitance. Now, permittivity is really a measure of how an in insulator acts with an electric field. The permittivity of free space, a vacuum, and of air we call epsilon zero or epsilon naught. And its value is a constant that you can find in many different places. We're going to write it as 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12, and its units are coulomb squared per newton meter squared. Let's see how we can use this. We're asked to find the capacitance of two parallel plates of length one meter, one millimeter, and width two millimeters, if they are separated by three micrometers or microns of air. <clears throat> well, capacitance is epsilon A over D. Our epsilon in this case, since it's separated by air, will be epsilon zero, or 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12 coulomb squared per newton meter squared, which is also a farad per meter, times our area 0.001 meter, 1 millimeter, times 0.002 meters, 2 millimeters, divided by their separation, 3 microns, or 3 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. 
run through all of that, and I come up with 5.9 times 10 to the minus 12 farads, or 5.9 picofarads. Let's take a look at one more. Find the distance between the plates of a 5 nanofarad air gap capacitor with the plate area of 0 0.06 square meters. If we're looking for the distance, let's start off with C equals epsilon A over D and solve for D, the separation. So D equals epsilon A over C. That's going to be 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12 and this time, let's write it as farads per meter, equivalent units, times our area, 0 0.06 square meters, divided by our capacitance. In this case, 5 nanofarads, or 5 times 10 to the minus 9 farads. Use my calculator. D comes out to be 1.1 times 10 to the minus 4 meters. That should get you started on capacitors. If you need more help looking for more information, check out aplusphysics.com. Thanks and have a great day.